Okay, you guys, uh, I'd like to kind of wrap things up in the next video or two. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, what I'd like to do today is I sent you um, an email with uh, two drawings. Uh, one is a north arrow, and the other one is a graphic scale. And I'd like to insert those into our drawing today. So let's... Um, you guys should be able to open that drawing and let's start with the scale drawing. The scale drawing is going to look uh, like this. And what I'd simply like to do is highlight everything. So I'm going to window uh, the graphic scale, uh, left click, and then choose, um, use Control C for copy. And then I'm going to go back to my Civil 156 drawing and Control V uh, to paste. So I have to pick a place. I'll pick, let's say, right here and just say OK here for now. OK, so I'm just going to say OK. And my scale is here. It's not the right size, uh, but that's OK. We'll make it the right size. So let's zoom into it and just make a few changes. Um, this number is going to stay zero. Um, this number will set, if I left click on that number twice, I'm going to change it to 20. I, I didn't really go over this yet, but I think our uh, scale for this drawing is going to be 1 inch equals 40 feet. So I'm going to change this number to 20. And uh, I think it's a single tap now. On that number, change that one to 40. And you see, I'm just changing these numbers. Then this one will be 80. And uh, this one will be 40. And then down at the bottom here, 1 inch equals 40 feet. When we plot this, which we don't have the opportunity to do right now because we're not at school, uh, we would plot this where the civil scale that we would use is 1 inch equals 40 feet. Okay, so uh, it should say 40, 0, 20, 40, 80, and then down at the bottom here, 1 inch equals 40. Now, um, I have to make this the correct size. So I'm just going to check something. I'm going to do a distance, DI for distance. And I'm going to check what's the distance from uh, this endpoint to, let's just say this one here. I'm going to go to this one. You see, it's 1 right now. Okay. Now, since I'm going to place this in uh, model space, I have to scale this up a little bit. So right now, the distance between here and here is 1 foot, and it should be 40 feet. So we're going to use the scale command to scale this up by a factor of 40. So in my modify pal, up here is this one is my scale command okay so let's choose that and then let's highlight everything right click to complete my selection set of objects now it's asking for a base point I don't just want to pick anywhere I'm gonna pick um, I'm gonna use my endpoint object snap and I'm gonna pick this corner just to pin it down so to speak you see, so that pins it down. And uh, my scale factor will be 40. So I'm going to type in 40, and of course it gets a lot bigger. Now, if I do a distance from this point to this point, I should get 40. So DI for distance, I'm going to, um, I'll just shift, right click, end point to shift right click end point and you see now I get exactly 40 feet if I hit um, F2 it brings up my 
sorry I'm struggling there but you can see it's 40 uh, it's exactly 40 feet now we're putting this in model space so that's the way it should look and then I'll just move it uh, to where I think uh, would be an appropriate place something like this okay so now we've got a graphic scale now we'll open that north arrow uh, drawing that I asked you it's pretty much the same thing here highlight everything uh, control C to copy go back to my civil 156 drawing and control V to paste it so I'm gonna drop it in right here again it's gonna be tiny and this one it doesn't have to be a any particular size I'm just gonna scale it up to where it looks good to me so I'm gonna scale this object usually I want to you know I want to choose let's say the center of this um, I'll probably get it with an endpoint here so I can go you see right there and that way uh, I don't lose it. Sometimes these things will fly off to outer space if you pick a, uh, you know, the wrong spot. And so I'll just make it, you know, big enough that anyone can see what north, south, east, and west are. So let's just do that with this video. Add your graphic scale and north arrow to your drawing. And um, I'll probably uh, have a couple more things I want to do before... Uh, we call it quits. Okay, thanks.